Man spends entire career mastering crappy code base. <laughs> This sounds like most people's life, okay? This is, and by the way, your life as a software engineer is usually trying to figure out what's why someone else did something that's stupid. And guess what? You end up rewriting it, and about halfway through the rewrite, you realize why he did something stupid, and you do the stupid thing too, okay? That's just how it works all the time. It's it, That's how life works. Every time you think someone wrote stupid code, go ahead. Why don't you go give it a try? Why don't you give it a try, tough guy? Guess what? You're writing that same stupid code every time. This week, software developer Arthur Westbrook announced his early retirement at age 58. Nice. Westbrook spent 35 years in a code base that allegedly powers some sort of medical software somewhere. <laughs> this is definitely... Are we sure we're... Okay. This reads just like we're about to read an Onion or Babylon Bee article at any moment. During his tenure, he contributed 100 lines of code... 35... How do I get that? Westbrook once touched uh, legacy code without ending uh, the company. <laughs> Westbrook believes he grasps over 4% of the entire code base. A former colleague called it the war and peace of wingdings. <laughs> oh, no. The company Westbrook oh, was known as one of the programmers on the team. His manager noted Arthur had a knack for working hard without learning transferable skills. He is dearly missed. It'll, uh, it'll take two junior level, uh, two junior devs and a Keurig to replace him. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Your legacy as a developer will be two junior devs and a Keurig. Okay. I hope you know that, right? Sucks to suck, but that is your future. In honor of his decades of service, one of his coworkers will take him out for drinks sometime next month. <laughs> Nobody on his team responded for comment. For his retirement, Westbrook plans to dabble in street performance and dumpster diving. He also plans to hone his culinary creativity. Soylent mixed with Whole Foods premium adult cat salmon mix. Damn. That's the article y'all sent me? Why would you do this to us, okay? First off, I wasn't really excited about this article, okay? It was a great read, epic article, but I don't want some foreboding feeling of what my future looks like, okay? I don't want to be dumpster diving and drinking Soylent mixed with premium adult salmon cat mix, okay? I don't want this. I know it's the future, but I don't want it, okay? So I hate seeing it. You know, you hate looking in the mirror. You hate what you've become because you know it's going to happen. And Chad Jippity is only going to make this problem worse, okay? Because there's going to be more legacy produced at higher rates like nobody can ever, ever imagine. The amount of code that's going to be produced in the next 10 years is going to take 5x more programmers to wrangle it back into like something that's usable. The amount of programming jobs is going nowhere but upwards. It is the greatest time in the universe to become a programmer, okay? And anybody that thinks AI is going to be taking the jobs, you should watch people write code with AI. You should just watch it. Just go ahead. Get your get that junior that just kind of that just kind of did school, never had a side project. Sit him down with your company code base and just watch him jab, chat jippity and co-pilot his way to great success. And then afterwards, you will understand why you you too will be drinking Soylent and adult premium cat food. The name is the private gen. <laughs> <laughs>